apparently, you know, um, Shakur Stevenson looked good enough, you know, to warrant the tank fight because Tank's trainer came out and said, hey, man, we're going to let Tank, um, uh, uh, Tank trainer's co coach Kenny Ellis has said, that, hey, man, you know, we just got word for Lomachenko that we're going to let uh, Lomachenko is going to step aside and let Tank versus Shakur happen first and then Lomachenko take on the win. I tell you, I would probably stay on post. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get buddy back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. I gotta walk away from the AC real quick because it's pumping. I don't want to be too loud in the video, but man, it's hot out here in Florida. Oh, my goodness. I was just like being outside, man. You know, so speaking of being outside, man, you know who was outside yesterday? We had Shakur Stevenson. He all the way outside. I'm talking about outside of his promotional company. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> He done left top rank after a, a good performance. You know, I know a lot of people can be like, oh, Doc, what do you mean a good performance? Yeah, it was a good performance. You know, I think that a lot of people are disappointed in his performances because they expect to see knockouts. Like, everybody is not a knockout specialist, you know? Yeah. Some people are technicians. Some people are counter-hit punching extraordinaire. Some people are, are, are volume punchers. Some people are defensive fighters. You know what I'm saying? So, like, sometimes... Yes, he could be more exciting, and yes, we want to be entertained. That's what the sports is about, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's also the job of the fighter to prioritize winning, and I thought he did a very good job against a very capable fighter in Artem Hunter Union. You know, I thought his opponent was good. Is he, though? And I thought that he performed very well, man. He did what I expected him to do. He looked impressive. Now, could he have looked more impressive? Of course, because I thought that he, he definitely needed an uh, impressive victory, especially this being his last fight under his contract uh, with Top Rank and Bob Aram, you know what I'm saying? But... I don't think he quite impressed in a fashion that was so intriguing and entertaining, but I thought it was good enough. You know, I thought it was good enough for what he did. He dominated the fight. I have Artem Union winning the first round. I think I made a game, game like one round in the middle, but, you know, I mostly gave it to Usher Core Stevenson. Now, the reason that now my, my biggest gripe with him is that it wasn't as entertaining or impressive as his victory against Oscar Valdez. You know what I'm saying? That's where I will knock him for that. You know, I thought he could have had a victory like that, and that wasn't a stoppage. You know what I'm saying? That went the distance, but it was a very impressive fight because he dominated him. You know, I think he beat Artem Hunter very handily and for, by Shakur standards. I thought it was a good fight. You know, he didn't run. He walked him down. Artem Hunter was a game opponent. You know, he, st he, he was stalking about applying pressure, and then towards, like, the middle of the fight, I want to say like from the fifth or sixth round on, you know, Shakur started walking forward and, 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 and bringing the pressure. You know, what, what, I, what I will say, though, I didn't like is that, um, you know, when they go into the corner, um, it seemed like Shakur Stevenson and his, and his, and his trainer, um, which is his father or grandfather, I can't remember, um, you know, um, but he, he, they had like a little combative interaction. I didn't really care for that, you know, to be kind of showed. Um, a lack of humility, if you will. I'm not saying that you can't disagree. Of course, everybody's going to disagree. You know, that, that happens, especially in the fight game. But, you know, I think his, his 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 trainer was just trying to tell him, you know, open up more, especially because in the fifth round, I think Shakur Stevenson was like, I believe it was in the fifth round. He was like, yeah, man, I got him. I'm about to get him out of there. So, you know, I think his trainer was just trying to encourage him to do so, you know, especially when he thought he saw that. But he didn't. it, it didn't work. You know, Arthur Hunter Union, like I said, is a capable fighter, and he probably put up more resistance than he anticipated. But but you got you to gotta know your opponent, too, and you can't just expect people to lay down. So I think that Shakur Stevenson's performance was good enough, but I definitely think it left people wanting more, and rightfully so. Um, but I don't think it was a bad performance. I thought it was a decent performance, and um, his, his, it being his last one. And, of course, at the end, you know, he called out Lomachenko again. I loved his shirt, you know, to, to further emphasizing the fact that he's he plans on leaving top rank, that that's his last fight. You know, I thought that was dope. He called out Lomachenko like he has been doing for the longest, and that fight should have been the easiest fight to, facil to facilitate, yeah. being that they're both in the same weight division, yeah. and they're both on top rank. It have been since, um, you know, Shakur Stevens has been on top rank since 2017, and Lomachenko, of course, been on top rank for the longest, but he was also at the 135 pound division since Linares, which is in 2018. So yeah. they've been in the same division on the same promotional company for the longest, and that fight should be the easiest to facilitate, and it hasn't been. So, you know what I'm saying? I like the fact that he called him out, um, put a stamp on it, and we'll see We'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to happen, of course, but he's just showing that, yeah, man, this fight hasn't happened. I should have been. I should have had this fight being on top rank, you know. I, I thought it was also funny that uh, <laughs> what I thought was also funny was that um, even Zapata called out Lomachenko as well, you know, so after this fight. We're going to see what happens. You know, what I don't like, though, is that apparently, you know, um, Shakur Stevenson looked good enough, you know, to warrant the Tank fight because Tank's trainer came out and said, hey, man, we're going to let Tank... Um, uh, uh, Tank trainer's co coach Kenny Ellis has said that, hey man, you know, we just got word for Lomachenko that we're going to let uh, Lomachenko's going to step aside and let Tank versus Shakur happen first and then Lomachenko take on the winner. Nigga, you's a bitch! 
I think that's the easy way out for Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think, I think he should, you know, hopefully they go forward with the tank fight, you know, because by that time, they're just going to say he's even older than what he is, you know. So and if he is older, people are saying he's older, why would we want to push that fight back out further? You know, so I would like to see um, uh, uh, Tank versus Loma first and then uh, the winner or loser, you know, whether whether Lomachenko wins or loses, I think he should get Shakur. But like I said, he's leaving top rank. I, I highly doubt that fight's going to happen. But it was interesting, though, with that being said, I think we might have a chance of seeing Tank versus Shakur if, you know, it's just an Instagram post. First of all, it's just an Instagram post. So it doesn't mean that there's any validity to it. You know, we're just speculating right now. But if what Coach Kenny Ellis said is true, then what I think could happen is that Lomachenko may step aside and let take a Shakur fight and then... Lomachenko may take Zapata up on his offer because let's face it, you know, I think Zapata, I actually think Zapata beats Lomachenko. Um, I think Shakur beats Lomachenko too, and I think Tank beats Lomachenko, but definitely Zapata, especially at this point, is the easier fight for uh, for Lomachenko than Shakur or Tank. So, you know, I think that once again, you know, probably Bob Arum and Lomachenko trying to look for the easier way out, but you know, let's see what happens, man. That, that's just hypothetical. You know, I'm still hoping for the Tank and Lomachenko fight first. And then everything else fall into place after that, man. But y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Um, yeah, I think that Shakur did a good enough, uh, had a good enough fight. You know, I know some people still gonna say it's boring, but he definitely didn't run. So I think he did had a pretty, pretty good, good showing, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. I'm definitely interested to see who he signs with. I personally believe it's Eddie Hearn and Matt Room, but y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.